Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. Let's see what is showing up. This is going to be a career, money, money, freedom, financial success reading. It is not necessarily about a specific time frame. So it is timeless, but it is themed. Take what resonates with you as always and leave the rest behind. Thank you all for being here. Thank you guys for clicking on this video, for all of your support. Members, thank you. Anyone who has donated, thank you. And if you ever wanna say thank you for the readings in those ways, a donation link for PayPal is gonna be in the description box below somewhere. All right. Spirit, angels, archangels, ascended masters of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for all Pisces subscribers watching this video. My intention right here and now is for us to receive the most powerful confirmations, the most accurate predictions, and the best guidance to move forward. Specifically and especially in regards to money, prosperity, and career. First card showing up, Page of Pentacles, followed by the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to go ahead and like set up the whole reading first before going into the messages. I would like to remind you guys that our sale is about to be over. Check it out, especially the Abundance Blueprint course, which is 50% off. Check it out. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate, that's fine. But if it does, I think it will be very, very important for you to check that out. Um, what else? I mean, you know, everything that's important is in the description box below, always. So just... Just gonna let you know that there's new stuff. <laughs> and then you can go ahead and check that out by yourself. I feel almost a little jittery, like when you have too much coffee, but I'm not having coffee today, but I just almost feel like my chest fluttering, like my hands kind of shaky. I don't know if many if many or maybe some of you guys are um, drinking Red Bull energy drinks, a lot of coffee or some kind of like stimulant, because I, I did start to feel it right away as soon as I started to connect. Page of Pentacles as the main energy is letting me know here that you, Pisces, you feel like you're very business savvy. Some of you feel like you know your way and back, up and down, side to side around money and finances, but you are really, 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 really not an expert about money, okay? So this is what I'm getting kind of like this vibe of someone who is very intuitive, manifests abundance, prosperity, in comparison to peers, in comparison to other people, you are perceived as someone who is highly abundant and has a good relationship with money. But when it comes to knowledge about portfolios and investments, and I don't know, I don't even know what kind of thing you don't know because I don't know those kind of things. <laughs> but what I'm getting is that you may be very much more inexperienced than you think. There's a lot to learn, there's a lot to know about how to handle money, how to multiply money, how to invest. There's a lot. There's a lot, a lot, a lot that you want to tap into. Because only now, I think, Pisces, you are realizing how little do, do you actually know. Now, this may not be the case talking about you. Maybe you do know your shit. Maybe you, you're an accountant or a financist or whatever, you know? And who, who's not knowing much is actually a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus person. And there's this new beginning. There's this gift from the universe 
of abundance and prosperity that comes in a raw material, raw form. It's like the universe is going to give you a lump of clay, trusting that you will turn that into a beautiful sculpture. But only those who have that knowledge can, you know, really make sure to uh, do that. I almost feel as if the universe was withholding abundance from someone, wanting them to maybe understand money a little better, learn a little bit more about it. Because once Spirit gives you that clay, if you don't know how to make it a sculpture and you kind of like waste it, that opportunity is going to be wasted, is what I'm getting. Like, there is something that the universe wants to give you, but you have to be worthy of receiving it. Not worthy of receiving it because you're good enough or, or not good enough. It's more of a intellectual business knowledge kind of thing. I think that in the past... Maybe your entire life, or maybe this person's entire life, they have always been almost by the sea, you know, like by the emotions, running from emotion towards emotion, making decisions out of intuition and emotion. And maybe that is all this person knows. But here they're being invited to almost cross this threshold. And become almost like a powerful business person, like a player in the area, like someone who knows the rules, someone who knows how to strategize and move the pieces and make what they want come to fruition. In the past, in regards to money, Pisces, I feel like you've been very open and what you have attracted and manifested has been out of your energy and out of your manifestation skills, not necessarily because you moved your money right or because you knew what you were doing. It was more of a spiritual thing, attracting things in ways that only you understood. Now, in the present, spirit wants to give you knowledge. Spirit wants to tell you this is how you handle big money. This is how you handle properties or investments. This is how you handle this, that, or the other. So I think someone here, you may reach out to someone or someone may casually say something to you. Pretty much letting you know that they can teach you about this, okay? Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Look at that. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Damn. So if you have a fire sign in your life that knows their way around money, this is a time to start creating with them or through them a strategy, a plan, a structure. Learn, Pisces. Ask things. <laughs> Ask everything. Learn about it. Learn about money. Go on YouTube and, you know, type something along the lines of the smartest way to to organize a big chunk of unexpected money or something like that because i feel like the universe is going to give you like this heavy as uh coin here but it's it's almost i'm seeing a parent and a child and i see the parent having like a coin and I see the child and I see the parent almost like oh, you know like I shouldn't give them this coin they're not ready for this coin they're just gonna leave it somewhere but they're like you know what I'm gonna trust and they give the money to the child with the hopes fingers crossed that the child will somehow see the value in it will take care of it maybe hopefully save it not lose it you know and I feel like that is how spirit is looking at you right now. It's like, oh my God, I hope you're ready. I really, really do. Because this is big. And if you mess it up, you messed it up. 
So there's a sense of responsibility here, a clarity. The universe telling you, even through this reading, maybe, like, be aware that this is not just another fluke. Be aware that this is not just another thing that you magically manifested, didn't know how, don't know if you'll be able to do it again. This is actually the clay that you're supposed to create a sculpture with, okay? Be patient, be kind, be slow, as slow as you possibly can in regards to money moves. A fire sign can help you greatly. There's a woman in your family who's a lawyer, okay? Could be close family, could be like super extended family, could be married to someone in your family, could be um, dating someone in your family, but there's a woman who's a lawyer. She knows her shit, okay? So if you would like to reach out to her and ask her, like, hey, you know, I don't know, teach me things. <laughs> uh, I think that that person would actually be very flattered and would very, very much like to advise you in that area. There is a sense here that there's there's something here that needs to be fixed and it is a sense of unsafety because of a lack of financial structure maybe you're feeling abundant maybe you have money maybe you have everything that you want and you always get what you want but what they're telling me here is that there is not a mindful conscious structure built to sustain you long term and your family members in a way that will bring you peace of mind and a feeling of safety permanently. And that's what they want you to build. That is what they want you to sculpt here, okay? What would that look like? Are you in debt? Pay your debt. Do you have three months of expenses saved up front? Have that savings. Do you have an emergency fund? Do you have an emergency fund for your pets, for your kids, for do you have insurance? All of those like things that it's not very excited to save for, exciting to save for. At least it's not that exciting compared to like a brand new red convertible or something like that, right? That's what they want you to do right now. To find and create, possibly with a fire sign... Um, a structure that will sustain you because this is what they want to see you become spirit this emperor this strong firm abundant person decisive wise certain strong but also a person who is at peace They say that money don't buy happiness, but if you've not had any money at all, and you've struggled with it for a really long time, just being able to pay your bills makes you really fucking happy. I don't know about you guys, but like, it makes a difference. And what I'm getting here is that they're telling you like, you know, a good way for you to be able to be happy for the rest of your life is to build a foundation, build this system already set in place you know maybe you have uh, these savings put them on this thing that gives you interest every month by having those savings in the bank or whatever and use that to pay the insurance for this that other it's just like a system a net a way in which your money is protecting you instead of you having to go out of your way in your life to protect your money Instead of you having to stop living or stop enjoying yourself because you need to protect your money. You know, it's like a way in which the money's going to be protecting you. That's what they want here for you. And you get to do this. This is your time. So if you are that child, if you are that page and you receive this coin, <laughs> don't do anything with it just yet. Save it. Just... Just keep it. Keep it close to your heart until you know exactly what to do. 
This is not the time to go, oh my god, I got the lottery, so now I'm gonna splurge and buy everything I've never been able to buy. No. Mm -mm. There will be a moment for that, you know, once your structure is set, once your system is in place, definitely. Splurge, enjoy. At the end of the day, money is not money, money is freedom, right, of what we can do. But in this case, what the universe wants you to be doing is to almost associate money with peace of mind. Many of you want to live. Many of you want to get your heart broken, <laughs> fall in love, travel, get in trouble. But you don't because you can't afford, perhaps, to pay for those things, to pay for those freedoms, or you can't afford to look away from your job or your family because there is not this system set in place. So this is super clear, Pisces, as clear as it gets. Beautiful reading, powerful reading. You've got this. And if you don't know what's going on, receive the coin and keep the coin to yourself. Ask this person. Could be a fire sign, could be a lawyer, could be a woman lawyer in your family. All right? All right. So yes, this is what I have for you, my loves. Very, very straightforward. I love it. Let's show spirit that we can be trusted, Pisces, with this massive abundance. Let's show um, the wisdom of spirit that we're here, that we care for ourselves, that we care for our peace of mind. Let's almost impress spirit and make that parent um, feel proud of giving that coin to us. <laughs> All right. I love you guys so much. I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. I remind you that I am offering for a limited time only $50 personalized readings, which are 10 to 15 minutes only, one question. Uh, these are significantly, significantly shorter than the other ones. The normal ones I've offered for a while is the $250 for one hour and 15 minutes. Those are three questions and we obviously go like super way more in depth. But I mean, this reading was 17 minutes, and that's, I mean, I think we talked about quite a bit. So if you are interested in getting one specifically made with your energy and your messages, just let me know or go to the store and uh, purchase it yourself. Things are 50% off on the website as well, so you can check those out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, my loves.